As a mountaineer, one of my idols is Sir Edmund Hillary, who once said, it is not the mountains we conquer, but ourselves. I thought about this statement a lot in the past weeks, and I realized that no matter what I do, climbing a mountain, crawling through dark tunnels, biking on scary roads, what I like is being pushed outside of my comfort zone. This grows me as a person, it allows me to better discover myself. What I realized more and more is that what Sir Edmund meant is that the scary part is not the mountain or the road. The scary part is our own inner voice. That voice that tells us to stay in our safe space. The space that we know. When we conquer that inner voice, we conquer the mountain or, in my case, the road. It is five weeks since I started this adventure. Five weeks being on the road. Five weeks of physical and mental challenges. Five weeks of freedom. During these five weeks there were many moments of doubt, moments when I had to fight my inner voice. At the end of week 4 something unplanned happened, that forced me to stay put for some extra days, something that caused a big hole in my budget, that put me in a position where I didn't know how to continue. Hey and welcome to this video, I'm George from the channel I'm Travel Roads and today is the 30th day of my bikepacking adventure through Europe and this means the fifth week is about to start. I started from Vienna and went over Hungary and Slovenia to here to Croatia where I have still 900, more than 900 kilometers left along the coast until I eventually leave Croatia, bike along the Balkans and hopefully reach very soon Turkey. The last five days I was forced to stay put here in Pula because I was waiting for a package for a new laptop so I can keep producing videos. Today finally after some delays I got it but this waiting means a huge hole into my budget which is not calculated. Also I figured out that while camping in Croatia during this main season is really difficult. I need to figure out how I continue, how I make everything happen and I hope you enjoy this video and wish me luck and let's figure it out together. Have fun with this video. Due to my unexpected and unwanted extended stay in Pula, it will be only a short cycling week. That day I finally received the package, but till I was able to leave and hit the road again, it was already late afternoon. The cost for the accommodation caused a big impact on my budget for this month, causing uncertainty if and how I can continue. Luckily I am too stubborn to give up. Oh, look at this view in front. Oh. This is amazing. So for now I decided the best I can do is continue and finally leave the city. Get fresh thoughts and ideas how to solve this problem while being on the road and use the last hours of daylight to make at least a few thousand kilometers. That night I found an amazing spot to make camp, in a forest next to the beach. After a great night I was ready to make up some of the kilometers. Directly after breakfast, first thing in the morning, 150 meters of elevation in the heat. Crazy. But now I'm back on my trail, back on the Euro Velo 8, which I've fallen now quite for some while, so I hope it's more or less good maintained. While I was in Pula, there was a fire break it broke out somewhere in the outskirts of the city. I'm not sure what actually happened, and but the forest around also started burning. So there were like these airplanes flying the whole day, taking water, dumping it. And it was so fascinating seeing it, how they dump it. It was also crazy in the evening. Everything was under control and they stopped and there was no fire anymore. But as I came home, I was walking a bit and the whole area smelled like a cold oven, you know, if you make barbecue and you leave it the whole day until it stops burning and then you have this cold smoke smell and the whole city smelled like this, it was crazy. Having made a start really helped me getting fresh ideas and it was liberating knowing that I'm back on the street. For this short cycling week the plan was to reach the city Rijeka. As a small highlight and present for my bike, I will also make a washing day and give my donkey some love. Remove all the dust and dirt from the last 2000 kilometers of the bike and especially of the chain. For today my plan is to reach the city Labine and make camp somewhere close to it. During this week there were still heat warnings from the current heat wave that causes extreme temperatures all around the European continent. So I guess this is the best time of the year to make this bike odyssey. 
Today, the day awaited me with a maximum temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. Time to continue my usual ritual. Getting water, making kilometers, drinking water, releasing the water and repeat. After having climbed quite some elevation in the last days, I was really excited to finally speed up and go everything down again. kilometers even though before I was going up the constantly or basically up down up down I was now able to yeah, just speed up because it was like a five kilometers crazy down and I managed to go 45 to 55 the whole time that helped a lot the problem is I still need to climb a lot of elevation today even though it's just five kilometers it's uh, I think 390 elevation left it will be tough I also need to search for a supermarket to buy some dinner for tonight and breakfast. But yeah, here it makes a lot of fun actually to bike because it's very beautiful. Yay! Look at this, the next four kilometers, 10%. That will be fun. Yeah, sometimes also a little bit of hiking. It's good. Use the muscle, it's different. It's crazy up here. It's a uh, rate of 51 meters that I biked, but now it's getting too steep. It's 15% uh, of incline. 7%, that's like a holiday now. Whew. I was able to bike a bit and now back to walking. It's 15% of incline. Too much for me for this late afternoon. And I just realized the positive news of all this is until end of Croatia I only have 10,899 meters of elevation left. If this is not a reason to celebrate, then I don't know. Oh, only 10,898. That's a good feeling. I made it, finished the incline. It was tough. I'm really tired. And as to in the direction where I'm going, look at this. If this is not thunderstorm, then my name is Gustav. Whew. Let's go fast to this village where there's a supermarket, should be still open, buy some stuff and then search for a camp spot and let's hope to stay dry. The clouds got darker and darker and I started to hope that some thunderstorms would cool down the weather. I continued towards Labine and reached the town and a coffee, just in time. After an amazing night, thanks to the cooler temperature, I decided to grab some breakfast in Labine and discover the old town a bit before getting back on the road. Day 32 of this tour was a fairly short and easy day, allowing me to clean finally my bike and well, also myself. The day although tried to put some stones in my way. I need to make a big detour, I think at least 6-7 kilometers for nothing because there are like trucks blocking the street or buggers, I don't know. The street is forbidden to go and I don't think I can pass. It sucks. It's so unnecessary to make a detour, I don't want to. I made a three kilometers detour to avoid these trucks from before and now I think I am again at this construction work. <laughs> I, maybe I check if I can pass by or something. <laughs> Woohoo! The nice construction workers let me pass. Now I'm back on the road and I don't need to make another detour. 
this is a jackpot. Being back on the, well, partly road that now was blocked for cars gave me the opportunity to enjoy a road just for myself. And I passed the construction work. Oh, look at this view. Everywhere these mountains, beautiful. And I have a whole street just for myself. Ah, I love constructions. Amazing! Very soon I arrived in a town, which name I will not even try to pronounce. There I rented for the night an accommodation and I asked for a special favor, to use their garden hose. Oh, it's so amazing. Got this perfect spot here and gonna clean my bike now and I even got some nice cake and yeah I will clean now quickly everything make the chain nicely empty bottles messy bed clothes are hanging off the shelf memory scattered in my head been a mess since you left chain is clean, my fingers got dirty, but I need to say I'm really proud of myself. I am getting a bike expert. I guess at the end of this tour I will be able to open my bike shop. As I started, no joke, I had no idea of anything. I just was watching YouTube videos about how to clean chains, how to take care of a bike. Even before I started, I practiced with my dad how to change a tube. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting a pro, slowly, slowly. So now I bought some nice shampoo yesterday, actually two days before. So the frame we can now wash. Soonish I will reach the 2000 km on this tour and this was the first time my bike got completely cleaned. In Gyngos in Hungary I cleaned the chain a bit but this was the first real complete clean cleaning and yeah it's shining again. Uh, the donkey is beautiful and now I will check the, the pressure in the wheels, pump everything and oil and clean the backs and then I'm good to go for tomorrow again. And I guess the next time in 1000 km I will make this again. The biggest problem that I have now is the wheels. I have almost no profile on the wheels anymore, especially on the back wheel. So I need to see if I can buy some of uh, the same ones again, I don't want to switch. Yeah, I need somehow to find a solution how to fix my wheels and how to get new ones, which is another uncalculated budget. I was hoping actually it would hold maybe 500, 800 more kilometers. But it is what it is, I will find a solution. I think I found a solution how I can generally continue with this trip without the money issue. Nevertheless though, I will need to borrow a few hundred euros from a friend or from someone. I don't know yet. Uh, let's see how I manage this. But overall, I will need to change the plan a bit. And also the further stages of the trip. Um, but at least I think I found a way how to continue. Good morning, this is day 33 of the tour and finally making a long distance again. Today will be quite intense. I will go to Rijeka, actually a bit behind Rijeka. Kilometer wise it's only around 80, but a lot of elevation. So let's see how it will be. The heat is coming already. It's 10 o'clock and it's crazy hot already. So yeah, let's uh, get going. The apartment was so nice. I slept like a baby and fell in love with the dog here. But yeah, time to go. Since I left Pula, I was not biking along the coast, and I only saw the sea in the distance. By reaching Rijeka, I would reach the sea again. Getting closer and closer was really exciting. Leaving the hills or mountains also meant to get closer to the touristic areas again. I passed a lot of very frequented towns. The traffic got more and more and the license plates got more diverse. Alrighty, I just crossed Rijeka. 
So I made it officially now to Rijeka, but I still need to make a couple of more kilometers to somewhere where I will stay overnight. And yeah, the traffic is horrible. People are really careless. Uh, it's not so pleasant. But yeah, at least it's... That's what I mean. At least it's nice views and yeah, I can make a good distance quite fast. So could be worse. The views are amazing, incredible. Really, really incredible. It was interesting seeing the outskirts of Rijeka, the parts that most tourists don't see, the ones away from the shiny city center. And this is exactly why I love traveling in this way. The old town tells you about the history of a place, about its past, the outskirts, about the present. I arrived in a little town next to Rijeka and today I have this accommodation for me and my donkey and yeah, I will try to jump in the sea now and then for today the plan is just to work on this week's video, make everything ready and make sure that I, yeah, cut as much as I can. Today is Thursday so probably this week it will be only published on Sunday because yeah, otherwise I don't have time. To make my weekly videos, I need at least one day a week a quiet place and four walls around me. I usually put comfort below price, so most of the times I end up renting the cheapest place possible. Most of the times my hammock is the most comfortable place anyways. This place has a balcony which I can repurpose as a kitchen and use my gas cooker to make some delicious dinner. Well deserved after a day like this. This is the end of the fifth week of my bikepacking adventures for you. And as I said in the beginning of the video, it was a very short cycle week, but it was really important for me to get back on the street, get going and make kilometers again. And how did I actually recover from the financial impact and the financial loss? And how do I continue with this trip? Well, firstly, for the financial impact, I didn't really recover. I just delayed it temporarily. I asked some friends for help for some few hundred euros to recover from the expenses. Secondly, my original plan of this whole tour was to go to as many countries as possible and climb there the highest peak of that country. What I realize now is this is not really possible. Climbing the highest peak means not only climbing it, but also I need to receive all the gear, I need to ship it back. And this, during all this time, I need to rent an accommodation and this is a huge financial impact. That's why I decided right now I will concentrate all my energy on simply reaching Istanbul and getting back to Vienna. And then afterwards, I will separate the Bike Odyssey from the peaks of Europe and will concentrate on after the Bike Odyssey my full energy on climbing the peaks and actually combine it with a different adventure, but more about this later. I know some of you might be very disappointed, but it is simply the case I cannot afford it to stay put and then climb the mountains so I hope you will still enjoy the bike odyssey on this note I also thought a lot in the last few weeks about the future of my channel and how I want to continue I definitely don't want this to be the last adventure I want to go way further I want to make different kinds of adventures explore different parts of the world and different cultures and I want to share all this with you right now having a regular job while making the adventures while making these videos is not really sustainable for me that's why I set a goal for myself but also for the channel so actually for all of us to reach until end of this year end of 2022 5,000 subscribers that's a big number but I think we can achieve it and if you like my videos it would mean a lot for me if you press the subscribe button if you didn't do it yet for you it is a very simple gesture and a simple cost free click on the button but for me it means a lot also as always if you like the video please give a thumbs up this helps the youtube algorithms and lastly because of a recommendation of someone of you of the community i set up a patreon page so if you want to help me even more and also get us in a return some extra exclusive content check out patreon i put the link down in the description and see if you want to help me and if some of the extra perks are interesting for you in any case thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and you enjoy this bike odyssey as much as i do and we will see each other next week for a new adventure ciao, ciao.